Welcome to the Ultimate Squad Builders. This is the big one, the high school quarterback team. So a long time ago, I thought about this. I thought, can you make a team out of current NFL players in every position that played quarterback in high school? And now some position groups, of course, you will immediately think, not a chance, but I managed to get a team together here. Now this was very hard because this isn't the kind of thing that's just thrown all over the place that you hear all the time. Usually for some positions, this will be the kind of thing where color commentators might bring it up late in the third quarter in some game that you're not gonna watch because it's not prime time. And then they might mention someone played quarterback in high school for two snaps or something. So this one was really one where I had to know the players and for the offensive and defensive line positions, I went through the Wikipedia pages of every single player in the NFL to try and find guys that fit this. So it's also not the kind of thing that's regularly written on Wikipedia, and it is what I had to stoop to for some of these positions to get the facts. But I've managed to build a team here with some exceptions, and because of the nature of this one, this is one where I'd really like anyone who knows any other players who played quarterback at the high school thing, this is one where you throw it in the comments so we can really see how many of those guys there are. And now obviously we're gonna start with the quarterback as we always do, and for the quarterback position, there are obviously no end of quarterbacks who played quarterback at the high school level, Level, but I thought I'd try and find one that never played quarterback at the high school level and again that was pretty much impossible however Ben Roethlisberger didn't play quarterback in high school until his senior year so that's the best one we've got for that one he waited all the time until his senior year and now he's probably going to the Hall of Fame now there's plenty of running backs who have played quarterback at high school but Denard Robinson is the obvious choice here as he played quarterback at college for Michigan 6,000 total yards 49 touchdowns 39 interceptions 4,495 rushing yards on top of that, 42 touchdowns there. Now I don't have a fullback, but I'm pretty sure I checked all the fullbacks. If Michael Robinson was still in the game, obviously he's retired now, but if he was still in, he was a quarterback for Penn State, then was a fullback in the NFL, he would have been a great choice, but unfortunately he's not here to choose. For the sake of mentioning Keenan Reynolds, we'll have him there at fullback as a 12 overall. Keenan Reynolds played quarterback at Navy, 31 passing touchdowns, 88 rushing touchdowns, and is now some sort of offensive weapon in training for the Ravens, so fullback, it's an offensive position, it'll do. A wide receiver, Terrell Pryor is another easy choice here. Quarterback in college for Ohio State, 6,177 yards, 57 touchdowns to 26 interceptions, 2,100 rushing yards and another 17 touchdowns. On the other side, Julian Edelman, also a college quarterback at Kent State. Senior season, got 26 touchdowns, 13 passing, 13 rushing. And finally, Braxton Miller, also a college quarterback who switched to wide receiver his senior season. 58% completions, 5,295 yards, 52 touchdowns to 17 interceptions, 3,300 rushing yards and another 33 touchdowns. At tight end, Travis Kelsey, who was a high school quarterback, back to the high school quarterbacks. He was a three-year letter winner as a quarterback, still played a little bit of Wildcat at Cincinnati, and now he's one of the best tight ends in the league. And now we're onto the offensive line, which, you know, is obviously a little bit harder, but don't worry, I've got it covered. Now we're moving Lane Johnson over to left tackle. Now Lane Johnson wasn't only a high school quarterback, he also played quarterback at junior college level. He then went off to Oklahoma, where he played for a bit as a tight end and defensive end, and finally switched to offensive tackle where now he's one of the better offensive tackles in the league. Another switch from right to left, it must be a quarterback thing. Brandon Scherf played quarterback as a sophomore in high school, passing for 1,200 yards on the season. At centre, Chris Chester is the odd man out. Now, he's obviously moved from right guard to centre already. He also, I think, did not play quarterback in high school, but he did play running back, and also another position which isn't mentioned here. It says he recorded 815 yards and 11 touchdowns as a senior. He also played running back and rushed for 450 yards and 5 touchdowns. So whatever that other position is, clearly he was more than just a lineman in high school, and I'll take that when I can't find anybody else. Now we'll do right tackle first, and you'll see why in a second. Mitchell Schwartz played high school quarterback for a short while before being switched to offensive tackle. And to complete the line here, we're going to have to use Jeff Schwartz, who actually only played line in high school, but he was also an all-league pitcher in baseball, throwing in the upper 80 miles per hour. So if he's got an arm like that, you could figure he might be able to play quarterback if he had to, and he's going to have to fit in our team here because otherwise we just have three linemen. So that's it with the offense. A pretty good group and all of these guys except for Chris Chester and Jeff Schwartz did play high school quarterback and a lot of them played quarterback in college. Now defense I've got sorted. The defensive line is ugly. That truly was almost impossible to find any high school quarterbacks for. At right end we're going for Mario Williams. He didn't play quarterback. He only played running back because of injuries. 
but he had 590 yards and three touchdowns, and it's going to have to do. For the left end, we're using Tyrone Crawford, who we're having to move from defensive tackle. Again, not a high school quarterback, but he did play running back, outside linebacker, and kick returner. And I thought with how far those are away from the NFL position of defensive tackle, it fits pretty well. Our first defensive tackle, again, not a high school quarterback, but remember now that Alan Branch is now six foot six. 350 pounds and this guy in high school played tight end as well as running back and punt returner. He scored three rushing and two receiving touchdowns in his senior season and has five career punt return touchdowns at high school. And our other defensive tackle finally we have a high school quarterback Caleb Yules played quarterback that's about as much as I could find out but impressively better than playing quarterback he was lauded as a national hero for disarming a student who brought a gun onto a school bus. So Caleb Yule's not only quarterback, but also hero. A right outside linebacker, Darren Lee, who played quarterback in high school. That's the obvious part, otherwise he wouldn't be on this team. Outside of that, I can't really find much more to say. Mason Foster in high school led his team to a 12-1 and overall record, leading a defense that allowed just six points per game. And halfway through the regular season, he also had to take over at quarterback. And at left outside linebacker, Jamie Collins, who led his team to a Class 3A state championship during his first year at quarterback, counting for over 2,000 yards of offense and 26 touchdowns. At cornerback number one, Josh Shaw, who played cornerback, quarterback, running back, and wide receiver in high school. Our second cornerback, Nick Marshall, who actually started out as a cornerback at Georgia, was dismissed, went to Garden City Community College, where he was a starting quarterback, then went to Auburn with the hope of being starting quarterback, which he was, and he was invited to the 2015 Senior Bowl as a quarterback, but during that week announced that he would enter the NFL as a cornerback. And our third cornerback is going to be Nate Allen as he's surplus to requirements at strong safety and he threw for over 5,000 career yards playing quarterback. At free safety, Duke Williams who played both ways as quarterback and defensive back and my favorite one maybe of all of these, Cam Chancellor who played both quarterback and safety in high school. He recorded more than 2,000 passing yards and 500 rushing yards in a season that he led his team to a 10-2 record. Chancellor then went to Virginia Tech where he tried out as a quarterback, eventually moving to cornerback, then moved to free safety and now is one of the hardest hitting strong safeties in the NFL. Onto the special teams and there's still some surprises here. Adam Vinatieri was not only just a high school quarterback he was also a middle linebacker but stopped playing those positions because apparently he said I quit growing and at punter Shane Leckler who passed for nearly 5,000 yards over his career and also had an 85 yard punt in high school now at kick and punt returner I've got Ted Ginn Jr I don't know if he played quarterback at high school but he's actually here to represent one of his teammates Joe Webb Joe Webb of course still actually a quarterback in the NFL was a college quarterback but also play special teams and kick returners for the Panthers, which is pretty much unheard of. How many times do you see one of the backup quarterbacks tearing down the field on a kick return? Now, there's plenty of head coaches in the NFL that have played quarterback and have played it up to the NFL level. However, Gary Kubiak, I picked as one of the few options, and he's in the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame because of his exploits as a quarterback at the high school level. Now, long snapper, you're gonna have to help me there. Not only do I not know of any long snappers who play quarterback, I highly doubt their Wikipedia information is going to go as in-depth as that. The poor guys always get left out. Jarek McKinnon I've got down as a third down running back. He played some quarterback two in high school. And that is the team done. And it's a pretty good team. I mean, there's some... Ignore these three here. But there's some pretty good players all over the place. I mean, the linebackers are pretty good. Strong safeties, pretty down solid. There's some very good wide receivers in here. The fact that some of the best tackles in the NFL here played quarterback in high school is crazy. It's not a bad team actually with a 79 overall, 82 rated offense, 77 defense. And as always, if you want to buy and use the team made exclusively out of high school quarterbacks, it's gonna cost you 1.5 million coins on Xbox One and almost 1.7 million coins on PlayStation 4.